Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Trails of Cold Steel. Today, we're continuing. Oh yeah, I guess we, I always forget that you can do that at this screen. <laughs> like, for some reason, I think it's just gonna go into the game as soon as I save. But it doesn't. It never does. So we're going to see more tanks be destroyed today, or...? I mean, I think we are going to see more tanks get destroyed today, but just not in the exercise sort of way. What a big cliff. At last, after what seemed like enough adventure to fill a week, we reached the final day of our field study. Over in Crossbell State, they were preparing, busy preparing for today's keynote session at the trade conference. We spent the morning running through the Imperial Army's physical fitness program alongside some of the soldiers. And after completing it, no easy task, I might add, we sat down uh, to a lukewarm, lukewarm redux of yesterday's lunch. And that afternoon, during our special military science lecture, uh, we were presented with a confidential report on the terrorists. The Imperial Liberation Front is in Crossbell? That's right, or at least that's what the Intelligence Division believes. It looks like a known terrorist organization from the Calabar Republic has turned up in Crossbell too. The situation over there is pretty touch and go right now. Oh no. What are the authorities doing? Everything they can, naturally. However, operation has been, are being handled solely by the Intelligence Division. They refuse to tell the Imperial Army anything. It's just that they have a trusted ally taking care of things. But who does the who does the intelligence division trust? You gotta know something about this, don't you, right, Shostak? Well, I do, but I can't really tell you anything. I guess it's not a breach of confidentiality to tell you that there's they're a really strong bunch, though. That's still pretty vague. I got a few ideas. Anyways, uh, there's not much point in us worrying about that right now. The bigger issue is that the terrorists if, uh, is that our terrorists of the hour, the Imperial Liberation Front, are a bigger crew than we thought. We're gonna have to be in possession of a state-of-art military airship, at least. Seriously? An airship? Are you, can we assume Reinford manufactured? Uh, the, the Reinford's the manufacturer then? Correct. There's just how something that large found its way into the hands of insurgents is currently unknown. But it seems to be a high-speed model, different from the heavily armored types favored in the Imperial Army. I bet it's from the RF. 26 series. There are a number of different models within the series, though. But if they have an airship, that means they're going to be a whole lot more difficult to catch, doesn't it? That's exactly what it means. It's basically impossible to keep tabs on them as it is. With an airship in their possessions, there's no telling when or where they'll pop up next. Dots. That's quite worrying, especially since Prince Oliver is attending the conference. And Toa is in Crossbell right now, too. Yeah. Damn. Now you've got me worrying. Ah, uh, take it easy. I don't think you have anything to worry about with Gramps and Le Lecter over there. Is it Lech Lecter or Letcher? I think it's Letcher. Well, uh, that aside, if the terrorist attention is currently focused on Crossbell, does that mean the Empire is effectively safe right now? You raise a good point, Lara. They did target Princess Alfin during the Summer Festival last month. It's possible it's just a feint. Maybe they just want us to believe they're targeting the Chancellor. The real military police thought so, too, which is why they're increasing the security level at home. The Emperor and everyone else connected to the Imperial family should be safe. They've also beefed up security anywhere they seem short-handed. Huh, that's as well prepared as ever, I guess. At any rate, you've finally uncovered some information about on the terrorist identities, correct? That's right, though once again, we have the Intelligence Division to thank for that. If you turn your attention to the screen, please. You mean the one in front of us? <laughs> We can't, like, not turn our attention to it. It's literally right in front of us. I know that face. Gee. That's the man who kidnapped Prince Elfin and Elise in Heimdall. Not to mention he tried to start a war with Calvard in the Nord Highlands. So who is he? His full name is Michael Gideon. He used to be an assistant professor for at the Imperial Academy in Heim Heimdall. That man? A teacher? So an academic. Right, his focus was political uh, philosophy. Three years ago, he was dismissed from his position due to his intense criticism of Chancellor Osborne's hardline policies. Oh. 
So getting laid off set him on the road to terrorism? I mean, sadly that does happen in real life. Just might not be like the key thing that draws him to it, but might be like the straw that broke the camel's back. Well, it sounds like the actual reason was uh, he was let go was because he was handing, handing out texts and flyers in public. What? Oh, like he was handing out like pretty much anti-government flyers to like student. Okay. For a second there, I kind of thought like they just kind of fired him because he didn't like agree with everything. But if he was handing out flyers at the Imperial Academy school, I mean, there's like, you know, freedom of speech and everything like that, which is, you know, something I'm not sure if this, you know, continent has probably not. I don't know. But at the same time, if you work for the government and you're on and you're on government ground handing out flyers and stuff like that, that's like probably a breach of your contract. You'll find these kind of idealists at the heart of most terrorist groups, though. It's in seating a group with their core ideology. Uh, ideology they twist to even be uh, to be even more militant and radical. You can't even reason with them either. Yeah, they just don't know when to give up. Sounds like some other group I know. So, do we know anything about the others? We crossed paths with what I can only assume were three other key members last month in Heimdall. Yeah, S, V, and C. It seems like they haven't been able to dig up much on these three yet. Their strongest lead right now is that V baby belonged to a Jaeger group. Interesting. He was touting around this machine gun that looked like it could have been mounted on a vehicle. Did he seem at all familiar to you, V? Huh, not really. They're working on narrowing down the identity of S, too, but it's too early to make any informed statements. The real unknown is their leader, C. And the one with their visored helmet, the Power Ranger. I heard he was able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Green, Laura, and Fee simultaneously. I almost find that hard to believe. I don't. I imagine there are plenty of people in the Empire who could do that. It goes without saying that the Radiant Blade Master could fend off three of us without much of a problem. But I bet go Good Mirror, Instructor Sarah, and Major Nightheart could do it, too. Huh, I can't say for certain. Huh, look at Mr. Modesty over there! The Major here is widely held to be one of the strongest up-and-comer officers in the entire army! I've heard people mention him right alongside Major Vander. Laying it on the little thick today, aren't we? Going by the family name, it seems safe to assume he's a practitioner of the Brand Vander style swordsmanship. No doubt the relative of Lieutenant General Vander from Zender Gate. Oh, wait, is your last. Is your name Nightheart Vander? Oh, no. Wait, what? While I would question whether I could stand on equal footing with him, Major Vander is unquestionably strong. He was a classmate. Okay, no. So you're not. For some reason, I, I, I think that the words in that description there got messed up in my head. Um, he was a classmate during my military academy, and quite close to Prince Oliver as well. I wouldn't say close. <laughs> More like annoyed by Prince Oliver at every corner. In fact, he's in Crossville right now, serving as the Prince's bodyguard, as he does. Whoa. Well, that's reassuring to know. But getting back to the point, it's not just C. We still know very little about their group as a whole. Even their source of funding is a mystery. Even if they're a no-show in Crossbell, I doubt we've heard the last of them. And call it a coincidence or fate, but we've put a you've put a kibosh on their schemes twice now. It's the time possible they come to hold a personal grudge against you, so be careful. But right. Yeah, we'll be sure to keep that in mind. Dots. Okay, so Milliam knows something. And eventually, uh, eventually, the afternoon series of special lectures came to an end. And it was finally time to get a peek at Guerrilla Fortress's infamous railway gun. We'll now be shown the area where the railway guns are housed. All of what you've about to see is highly classified. I presume you're aware of the protocol surrounding confidential intel? Yes, Instructor. I'm getting kind of nervous. Me too. Guys, it's just the railway guns. I've seen them before, they're nothing to get all excited over. Orion, this is part of the field study, isn't mandatory for you. If you'd like to stay here and wait for us, that'd be more than okay. Jeez, I was just kidding! I, I don't want to be the only one left behind. Honestly. Uh, excuse me a moment. Oh, you have an Arcus unit too. This is Nightheart speaking. Yes, hello Commander Walter, wait. 
Mueller wants to speak to me? Of course, put him through. What could he be possibly calling about this at a time like this? What? What's happening? Uh, is he taking a call from someone outside the fortress on his Arcus? Sure looks that way. Thoughts? Understood. We'll be on alert here as well. Right, yes. Take care. Did something happen in Crossbell? I'm afraid so. A short while ago, the skyscraper where the conference is taking place came under attack by the Imperial Liberation Front. The attack was carried out via an airship. Fortunately, they were able to repel the terrorists, and Prince Oliver, Chancellor Osborne, and the others were unharmed. However, it's too early to tell if the danger has truly passed. Tch, they really did attack the conference. How foolish. But that's not all, is it? Something else strange happened? What was it? The terrorists were uh, somehow able to gain access to the orbital net and, uh, and manipulate the shutters that parts in the building. Furthermore, they had they, they had with them a force of mechanical monsters. All right, so Ouroboros is funding them of some, in some extent. I don't like the sound of that. You found something like that in Legrim, right? Yeah, we ran into one on the highway there. And they broke into the orbital net. Major, how much Agrelli forces connect to the network? At present, it's only used for inventory and equipment management by the maintenance staff. Or maybe not. Who was that? Tremor? Came from right below us. Below the hangar. Oh, uh, what the hell? Yeah, Arxens. Ugh. What happened here? They just started moving. There's no one's inside. They just started moving on their own. Those 20 C units they got. Did the C units start malfunctioning? No, they couldn't have. What's a C unit? It's an automatic control unit we put on vehicles that are going to serve as target for the military exercises. Uh, how did a C unit end up attached to our most advanced tanks? This is really bad. Ugh. I'm going to assess the situation. I need you here to help fight the fires and assist in the injured maintenance staff. Yes, sir. Please be careful out there. Oh, yeah. Good job, guys. Oh, you guys are going to die. I feel like you should have, like, a... I don't know, a remote stop switch or something? Uh, this is crazy! Hold on a minute, are automatic control systems really capable of that level of advanced maneuvering? No, they're definitely not! The current technology isn't capable of anything really, nearly this advanced! But if you're able to apply the tech, that used, uh, the tech used in the Arcanism, it suddenly becomes a whole lot more possible. Instructor, are you saying that the society might be involved in this? I'm saying it's looking more likely by the minute. What are they? Isn't that the proving ground we visited yesterday out there? Ugh, just what are they planning? What in Adidas' name is going on? Why are the unmanned tanks roving around blasting the hell out of this base or on their own? Well... Seems that last night headquarters sent an order to the engineers to fit those tanks with C units. Preposterous! I gave no such order! But never mind that, right now we need to uh, focus on extinguishing the fires and quelling the confusion. And send a request the assistance of the 4th Armored Division. Ugh! What should we do? I can't see us being able to catch up to them without a horse, at the very least. What's their goal? What are they trying to accomplish here? Whatever it is, they definitely have some kind of game plan. We can't just stand by and do nothing. Leave this to us. Isn't that... Dad? <laughs> Look at me, son. This is how you truly ride a tank. General, HQs appraise me of the situation. Leave these rogue tanks to us. We can't rule out the possibility that they are a diversion. I want you all to stay here. 
Understood, sir. Thank you, General. Be careful, Dad. You too, Elliot. Fourth Honor Division, advance. Take out those out-of-control tanks by any means necessary. Our opponents are unmanned. There's no need to hold back. Yes, General! I'm just gonna stand here and look cool. Oh, your dad's really something else, Elliot. <laughs> I admit it, he is pretty cool when he's taking charge like that. Well, it seems like we no longer need to worry about those tanks, at least. Well, what are they after? That's the question of the hour, isn't it? We can't let our guard down just yet. I suggest we fall back to the Fortress Major? A prudent move. Let it, after we assess the level of damage inside... Hey, aren't those... What in the... Dots? The Imperial Liberation Front? Oh, there's two of them! There's no way we could have known they had another force lying in wait. Good shot. Ah! The hangar! How does this base not have anti-air guns? Wait a minute, how does this base not have anti-air guns? Do they seriously think they could breach an impregnable fortress? Eh, I wouldn't call it impregnable. They're just terrorists. Wipe them out. I mean, <laughs> sure. Right back at you. Bye, guys. I don't think you're supposed to punch people with a minigun. Alright. Let's get this. Ah, they're very dead. Then. So maybe the one that's not in a pool of blood. Gun. If anyone gets in our way, fill them full of holes. Yeah! Yeah! Okay, so you all die. What's the Imperial Liberation Front doing here? I think they're here to liberate. I thought they were in Crossbell. <laughs> well, that is the main attraction. Oh. <laughs> they sure didn't put up much of a fight. No, they didn't. Kind of brutal way to kill a bunch of people, too. Like, let's knock them down, then then just shoot the living hell out of them. Comrade G over in Crossbell. Our target is the right railway gun. Let's show him some beautiful fireworks, shall we? Yes, ma'am. No, she ya. Yeah. But seriously, how do they not have anti-air guns? Oh, they're going to both the left and the right wings. Shit! It's the railway guns they're after. No! Are they gonna fire them at the trade conference where the Chancellor is? If a shot from one of the real guns hits the building, it'll blow the place to smithereens. So that's what they're after? The situation has escalated far beyond the scope of your field study. I want you all to stand by here and... No way! We can't just stand idle, I, idly... Uh, stand idle while these insurgents run amok. If you won't take us with you, then we'll take action ourselves. Tuh. Look. Time's one luxury we don't have. I think it's best we to have them help us. Listen up, we're going back to, we're going back into the fortress. Group A B, you're with me. Let's do this. Is this now the starting? Septon calendar twelve oh four. Eight thirty one. So this is the start, yeah? Yeah, all right, definitely. I'd recognize this cutscene anywhere. Really, Kronos? Yeah, n no, not really, actually. For the most part, yes. You guys got destroyed. It's no use. We can't even scratch them. I didn't see this intro like twice though. Once when I first started the series and when I went through on hard mode. 
We need backup from Lieutenant General Craig! And that would be them. This wasn't part of it, though. Because I would remember that man standing on a tank. Just <laughs> stoically. <laughs> at, at any cost, I would just, would just remember that. This also I remember. Maybe he was there, I don't know. Were Crow and Milliam here? I actually don't know if Crow and Milliam were here. This is awful. Yeah. What here? They all got killed. How terrible. I can smell smoke. Are they using gunpowder? I would imagine so. They completely blindsided us. It appears that everything else they've done today was to serve as a decoy, even making the tanks go haywire. Right. It looks like their real target was the railway guns all along. Which means they must be serious about targeting that trade conference in Crossbell City. They wouldn't! Oh yeah, they would. Oh, oh, can they possibly sink? So, they're intent on taking the Chancellor's head after all. Resorting to such wanton violence? This is absolutely outrageous. I actually don't remember Crow and Million were in the intro cutscenes. Uh, this does look kind of bad. No, you weren't there. Understatement of the year. Yeah, no kidding. <sighs> Please, let us help. We don't know if reinforcements are on the way, and it doesn't look like we have much time left. We have to stop them before they can activate the railway guns. Green's right. I don't know how much we can really do, but considering the alternative, we have to try. Right. I'm not about to let those terrorists have their way. <sighs> Looks like any attempt to convince you otherwise would fall on deaf ears. Sarah, join my party, please. All right. Green, you and the rest of Group A are with me. Woo! Group B, you'll be under the command of Major Nightheart. One group will secure the gun in the right wing. The other group will secure the left. This is an actual combat situation with real lives at stake. Like all my other field studies. From each of you. Yes, sir. All right, class seven. Our objective is to stop the activation of the railway guns. We've learned a lot at the academy. It's time to put that knowledge to the test. Bastard. Oh my God. My eardrums. Sergeant Shire joined the party. While she assigned to the active battle party, the number of support numbers is increased to three. You now use the burst link, limit, uh, link attack. Uh, an attack on all enemies performed by two link pairs, which consumes the bravery points you gain from repeated assisted attacks. Neat! Yeah, alright. Uh, let's see. Link. Do, 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 do. No, wait, wait. There. Boop, boop. And sure. Sure. Okay. This party will do. I feel like we might be lower level. Diablo and Pain. I love it. 500. Good evade. Good range. I think you have the store bot stuff from this place. You know what? We could jack her to her evade up. Do any of these guys have better shoes? No. Well... Eh. You know what, we'll keep them the same for now. I will take off accessories, though. Oh, she has an evergreen! Oh, neat! Okay. Oh, grail locket. Right! Hmm. I think I will just go ahead and put on... Something that gives her attack. Who's that gladiator headband? I go buy it already. There we go. Uh, let's go to the courts. She has Thor, the fort. This is actually not that bad. Judgment boat. And recovers HP and EP through attacks and crafts. Let's check out that Thor.
Is it not on the list? Really? Oh. Well, shit. <laughs> I wanted to see that, god dang it. So you got Plasma Storm. I like her cutout. Yeah, she just has this, the clipboard. I uh, flap. I uh, flap. Flash. Lightning Charge. Thundering War. Plasma Storm. I think we saw some of these during the intro. Alright, let's, uh... I guess we'll just go on the way. Can we leave? Nah. So I'm assuming... Okay, yeah, we can have three there. This is the rest point. I guess we'll rest here. Why not? So we can't view her... her Master Quartz. That is a shame, because I wanted to see what it does. In terms of strength. I guess if we level it up, we'll see it. Here they come. <gasps> yeah, that's a lot of them. They look just like that thing we fought during our field study. Yeah. Mechanical monstrosities. Aw, oh, they don't have to be mean to them. Save the talking for later. We need to take these things out. Got it. Bring it on. All right, let's see. Go. Uh, yeah, Gale. Only three, so do that. Oh, we're gonna kick your asses so bad. Uh, sis, please. And one for her, indeed. Uh, here? No. There? Probably kill these two, right? Oh, no. Okay. Well, that is just a surprise. They're stuck over there, so we need something over here. There you go. Should probably see what they're weak against, right? Huh, water. Not water, or nothing. Ow! Win it! Fantastic. Leave it to me. Can you kill this one, please? You didn't kill that one! Also, holy crap, I just noticed how much HP and we'll EP recover now. attack. That's kind of insane. So she is not getting any experience to her Master Court. Okay. Hey, you material, nice. I did it. You did do it. A matter of course. No doubt about it. Those things were the same as the one we fought outside Legram. Yeah. Seems a large number of them are on the loose inside the fortress. I'm guessing that's what got the soldiers we just saw too. It seems so. Hmm. They definitely look more like orbly powered archaisms than monsters. Orbly powered arca. <laughs> yes. So these are archaisms. Are you certain, Instructor? Yeah, they're a kind of autonomous weapon made by a rather unsavory group. Or Boris. And a real pain to deal with, too. We need to hurry, but keep your wits about you. Nah. That's good. Okay, let's see. Oh, this place is a lot different. Okay, so this is different compared to the intro. Look, I know there's no treasure in here, but I gotta at least check, right? What the? Looks like they were packing explosive charges. We'll need to find another route. I know. So, there's a chest in there. Let's go grab that. Oh no, I'm coming behind you, dog. You can't stop me. Some more level up. Oh, Sarah is... Oh no, never mind. She's not getting EP at all. <laughs> I've only just begun. Not EP, but uh nice. experience to horror her her master court. Savage Fang. Skewers enemies or foes with great force. Cool. This is mine. Oh, that's a beautiful looking treasure chest. Mine three. I don't think we need that on anyone right now. So we'll have to go out that way and come around. Sure. Hello you. Let's head down here. Reen's actually that pretty close to getting a rank five or level five on his uh, on his master quartz. 
Okay, so storage floor two. I'll have to remember that leads to a chest over there. Now there's a monster down here. May as well kill them all along the way. If at all possible. It seems this is a storage area. It does. Plenty of archaisms wandering around here, too. Yeah. Oh, chest. There's a Zerian powder. powder. Alright, cool. No, uh-uh. You did not see me. I know you're a robot, but it's not fair. Hey, good job, Emma. <laughs> I did it! Hey, good job, Emilium. Who's the next treasure? Over there. Okay. We'll deal with that guy in a second. See you later, dog. Treasure is right here. Oh, that's a beautiful looking treasure. Action piece. three. I may as well check the dead end just in case. You never know. I mean, generally speaking, you do know because it's on the map. But still. Falco has reached level four. Good job. Ooh, evasion plus six percent. That's not bad. Where are we going? Oh, we're just going down here then. Okay. I went the wrong way. I got turned around. It's easy, all right? What was that other area called? Storage 2. Okay. Well, Storage Floor 2. I just want to make sure I take that exit. Looks like... Huh. Interesting. Do I come up here? Like... Okay, we don't want to go that way. We want to come this way. We'll grab this bad light. You, oh, you touched me. You touched me. You touched me. And I do not approve. I was going to get a back attack. But no. You had to touch me. Well, you know what? Burst me. God damn it. I was too slow. Fine. Thoring run to baby. I didn't know those were timed. It was good work. Right. Grab this thing. Oh, a treasure chest. Flare bomb. Woo! Flare bomb. Is this the commander's office? I guess. We finally got around to the other side. Break on through to the other the side. The path to the right leads deeper into the fort. Let's keep moving. Wait. Am I supposed to go this way? I'm going to save just in case. Because if we start like a boss battle, I don't want to be there. I want to turn around and get that treasure. That's the area we're looking for. Wait. Yes? Okay, but what was over here then? Was it like a sealed door we couldn't get up? Oh, it's where they parked. Huh? That's one of the terrorist airships. I don't see anything around. But why would they leave it unattended? Oh, get back! Leave me! Good job, Milliam. They blew up their own aircraft? That was a cl that was too close. Looks like they must have rigged it to blow. Thank you, Milliam. Right, your quick thinking really saved our skin. <laughs> You're welcome. Why set it here, though? It's not like this, this is the most effective place to put a trap. No idea, but I'm sure it all plays into their plan somehow. Anyways, let's save the big picture que uh, big picture questions for later. We need to stop them from firing the railway guns. Right, let's move. Ugh, I don't intend on letting those criminals have their way. Okay. Okay, we can't go back out there? That's fine. At least we came back and checked it out. Because it kind of looked like the right way to go, right? I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. When we got here and I saw that, I was like, oh. Okay. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. How? 
Huh. This leads to the end, doesn't it? At least the boss fight. Hmm. You want know to attack. Then you attack. Good job. And you know what? Burst. Ready for a beat down? Leave it to me. I like this. I like all of this. <laughs> Not bad, kid. <laughs> wow, we got a lot of experience. Multipliers there. Okay, that was pretty dope. Also, this is mine. Oh, that's a beautiful looking treasure. Chest. Vanish. Okay, so. Yeah. Okay, maybe? I don't know. No. But there was no other way to get to that thing, right? Yeah, I see that. That door near it looks like it leads outside. My Probably turn. an external corridor. It's my turn. Right, everyone. Hi. Follow me. Go. All right, so this... I'm going to backtrack a little bit and see if I missed a path uh, before going outside. But I'm pretty sure this leads to the intro boss fight we had. So I want to make sure that I didn't miss a path that leads to those treasures. And we'll worry about that next time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, when you have my video section, check out some of the content and see if it's to your liking. If you're watching the live stream at twitch.tv slash chronoplays, or you my channel, follow to be notified when I go live. Either way, thanks for watching. Hope you all have a great day.